hi i have a little haul for y'all today i've been trying to be very intentional about the things that i buy so i haven't been buying a ton of things but this is everything that i bought last month that i wanted to share with you all most of these things are like practical you all know i love a bit of a practical aesthetic home piece first is this really cute flip clock <laughs> i really wanted a clock for our living room i just feel like sometimes we just stay watching tv and we have no concept of time so i really wanted something in the living room so we could be like oh okay it's definitely way too late we need to go to sleep oh i just flipped <laughs> i had seen a similar one on instagram and i loved it i love the aesthetic of it but i also love like manual aspect of it because it is like a little flip clock and i i don't know why but i just love the sound it makes whenever the minute changes it's just like so satisfying to hear that little like click sound the only downside is obviously with daylight savings and you have to adjust it every single time but it is what it is it's really cute though so i think it's worth it next is this cute little pot from walmart i was so surprised when when I stepped into Walmart and I found so many cute home decor pieces. I behaved myself though and I only bought this one because I've been wanting a wooden vase for so long and it just looks so good. It looks so high-end, so high quality and it's from Walmart. Like what? <laughs> I have it right now on our side table next to the couch with some florals in it, the color of it, like everything about it is just absolutely gorgeous. Another little thing I got this month is this gorgeous woven tray. Y'all know I love a scallop woven so as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I need to buy it <laughs> i also love this like toned down kind of brownish color i think it's so pretty i like that it has the two little handles on either side right now i have it on my coffee table as like a little centerpiece with some bases on it and i love that i could just easily move the whole thing if i need to to make more space on our coffee table and if i'm not using it as a centerpiece my husband and i love to have breakfast in bed so this would be so cute just to bring our plates into bed but yeah i love it because again it's a tray it's really practical but just aesthetically it is also so pretty and it's from amazon and it's such a good deal the next piece is not new by any means i think it came out a couple months ago actually at target but i had been resisting buying it i'm like i don't need it i don't need it but then now that i have a desk i was like okay i want something to hold my little trinkets so i got this cute little storage container right now i just have my <laughs> adapters inside and the top is so easy to remove and put on so i just wanted something that had like easy access for my desk for when i'm working and i thought that this was perfect and speaking of my desk if you don't follow me on instagram i shared that i finally got a desk <laughs> i think we've been living in this apartment for like over two years now and i never had a desk i always just kind of shared my husband's desk so when he was off at the office i would be on his desk and then at night sometimes if he wasn't working then i would use it but i'm like no i need my own space i'm tired of sharing <laughs> so i finally have my own desk it is absolutely beautiful it's actually a console table but it worked out perfectly because we do have a limited amount of space in our office slash guest bedroom so i didn't want it to feel too crowded when we do have guests and we pull out the sofa bed so the narrow table actually worked out perfectly and it's still long enough that i have plenty of space to put a lamp and storage and all of these other little things we're not planning to move anytime soon from our apartment but i'm trying to have this mentality whenever i buy a new product of like would i bother moving with this piece <laughs> so only if like i would actually go through the effort of packing it up and moving it and, and moving it into a new place then i purchase it because then i'm like okay i know that it's worth it if i know that i would go through all that effort for that piece it's an absolutely stunning piece that i'm going to have for a very long time i love the little knob legs i love that it has the two drawers because i'm always looking for more storage space especially in a small apartment right now i'm just using my old swivel chair as a desk chair but i do want to buy like an actual desk chair so if you have any recommendations for some cute but very comfortable ones for my back <laughs> i would really appreciate it but also on my desk this isn't actually a new piece i think i bought it last year but i had it in like my diy basket of like projects that i needed to get to <laughs> but once i got my desk i'm like this would be perfect so i can do my makeup there in the morning so i have this mirror that i got at at home it was originally white and i just gave it a quick little makeover with some black paint and i just think it looks so stunning it almost looks like the one from anthropology the primrose mirror that's like super popular but a tiny version <laughs> and it was only 20 dollars, i believe but i had a coupon for my birthday so i think it was like 20% off when I got it but yeah I absolutely love the details it's so cute and if you're looking to do the same thing and paint it yourself the mirror comes out completely with just a couple of screws on the back so it's very convenient to make over you can spray paint it you can paint it by hand whatever you like but I just think it looks so beautiful that I had to share if you watched my H&M shop with me video I did end up getting a couple of things I did get the baskets that I showed the 
storage basket. I ended up getting both sizes. So this is the smaller size, even though it's really big. I was not expecting it to be this large. And then I got the larger size, which has all of Loki's things now. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so easy to pop open with this little like latch. I still have the cardboard divider in there for organization, <laughs> but you can take it out. And yeah, you just like close it back up like this. It's so stunning. The color is gorgeous. The weaving is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that I finally got them because I had been wanting them and they had been on my wish list for so long. And they're already serving a purpose, organizing a bunch of stuff, a bunch of Loki things as well. So they are absolutely stunning. And also from H&M, I got two little things. I showed this cute little garlic container. I just thought it was so cute. And I don't know why, like the Shrek lover in me was like, it spoke to me <laughs> so you just put your garlic in here like this and it's just a cute little storage container but it's the little things in life so as soon as i saw it i'm like it's so cute it makes me so happy and like every time my husband and i see it in the kitchen we're like it's so shrek core we love it <laughs> and then i also got the little espresso cup and it's plate they do also have a cappuccino size but we didn't have a need for that one we needed an espresso one but it's so cute We've already used it a couple of times and I absolutely love it. It makes me feel like I'm at a fancy cafe or something. I also got a couple of things for our bed. So first I got this blanket, which it's absolutely huge. So it won't all fit in frame, but it is a king blanket with this beautiful checkered pattern. This is the back side where you can see the checkered pattern a little less. And then this is the front side where you can see it more clearly. I just love fleece blankets. I think they're so cozy, so comfortable. We use them all year long, actually. And it's just so difficult to find king size blankets, first of all. And then second of all, king size blankets that are actually affordable. And I think this one was like less than $30 for a king size blanket. So it is such a good price. And of course, it has this beautiful pattern as well. So I had to get it. And then I also shared on my Instagram stories a little while back that we had gotten a new mattress. My my husband moves around like a freaking tornado in his sleep so all of the sheets will pull straight off the bed but i found these things called sheet grippers and you basically put them on the edge of your mattress and wrap your sheets around it and the sheets have not moved an inch it is incredible <laughs> at first i was like why am i gonna pay like 20 to 30 bucks for these like little sheet gripper things like will they even work i was talking mad smack because since the night that we first used them our sheets have not moved an inch it's incredible <laughs> so if you also have that problem where your sheets just come off your mattress i highly recommend these sheet grippers they are a miracle and then also for our bed i finally got a bed skirt for our bed i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner because if you saw my bedroom makeover which I did a year ago, I did get a headboard cover so that we could give our Ikea bed a new look. And I don't know why I didn't think to do the same thing to hide the base, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> a year later, I finally figured it out. So I just got this bed skirt at Target. There's also a couple of ones from H&M that are also gorgeous. So I'll link those below. We just put it under the mattress and it covers the base of the bed. But an added plus that I didn't even consider is that it also covers the mess under our bed. <laughs> we have a bed that's like slightly raised off the floor so that you can have like extra storage underneath but obviously you can see all of that and all the boxes we have underneath <laughs> so the bed skirt had the lovely bonus of hiding all of that mess since it reaches all the way to the floor so not only does the bed look just different and more cohesive i just love how flowy it makes the room feel and how light and airy but then also it hides our mess <laughs> so two birds one stone perfect i shared my spring couch refresh a little while ago and the only new pillow that i got was this one from target i think it's actually supposed to to be like an indoor outdoor pillow which i have no problem with it's actually still super soft and i love this kind of like charcoal color i wanted something like darker so that it would like pop out amongst all the white and beige that i have on the couch but i thought that black would be like way too stark so when i saw this kind of like charcoal color i thought it was perfect it has that little pop without it being like too like in your face and i also love it because so many target pillows the covers do not come off which i just think is so obnoxious especially if you have kids or pets like you need to be able to wash your pillows so this one does have a zipper i guess because it's like an outdoor pillow so i just thought that that was perfect because i can easily remove the cover and wash it whenever i need too. I've also been a little lamp obsessed lately so I did get two new lamps. I got this woven lamp from Target with the pleated lampshade. It is so beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And then I also got this green lamp from Target which has a dimmer. I just think the color is so pretty and y'all know I love a green moment so I thought it was a really perfect like greenish color for the springtime but I can also 
actually use it all year long. And the last and biggest item I've purchased was a new rug for our living room. I absolutely loved our previous rug, but it had gotten so messed up. We had spilled so many drinks on it. And while the rug hit it pretty well, I thought it was time for a change. So I got this new rug with like an almost checkered pattern. I guess you can call it kind of a checkered pattern, but it's actually rectangular. It's supposed to be an indoor outdoor rug as well. So I'm hoping that that will make it very easy to clean. So far we have not spilled anything on it, so I can say for sure, but I'm hoping that it'll be easy to clean. It's also a lot bigger than our previous rug. I think they only have like a 10 by 12 available. I think it is just a little too big for our space, but it's fine. Like it, there's no problem with it. And I do love like how bright it has made our apartment and our living room, especially since we have such dark floors, laying out such a large, like light colored rug really brightened the room up. So I do appreciate that. But so far I absolutely love it. And I think for such a huge rug, the price was really good. I think it was on sale when I bought it. So I think I I paid less than $300 for a 10 by 12, which is a huge rug. So it's such a good price, but I love rugs. So who knows, maybe a year from now, I'll switch it again. <laughs> My husband really hates me anytime I tell him I got a new rug, but it's who I am. I just like rugs. I don't know. It's just such an easy way to completely transform a space because it is such a large scale item. It really makes a big effect in your room. But that is absolutely everything that I got this month. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm constantly sharing all my updates. And I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye!